Hello, hi. Uh, I'm Giel Beelen. Uh, I'm a radio freak. I'm, uh, well, a, a music lover in general. And yes, I'm hosting uh, the Daily Morning Show on a Dutch national radio station called 3FM. I think a lot of you guys think, oh, well, he's a DJ. For him, 10 minutes talking is like a really long intro of a song. But I have to say, I'm always honest in my show, so I'll be here also. I'm, I'm not feeling comfortable because of the fact you are sitting here. And normally I'm, uh, well, in my radio studio with my sound effects and I've got them with me. That for me is feeling comfortable, so after the show, if you don't an applause, I can always make it. And the other thing is my English isn't uh, mastered, but well, uh, you have to put up with me now. I'm going to talk about radio and I think something that I would like to talk about that everybody in this uh, room will agree upon and that's all the radio stations are playing the same music over and over again. Don't you think? Okay. And I'm not talking about the new stations, of course, and not the uh, specific jazz stations. No, the really big stations. I was driving to Rotterdam this afternoon and switching between the channels, as I always do, and I heard Coldplay, and then I heard, I think it was Katy Perry, and then Coldplay again, and then at another station there was uh, Adele. And maybe you think, oh, those stations, they just shuffle the music, uh, well, as you do with your own iPods, just press the bus button and uh, a random order. But that's not the thing how we work at the radio station. Because for us, uh, uh, scheduling music, making a playlist, is like, uh, well, science. We treat music as a science. It's, it's almost art. Uh, for example, if you have the song uh, Katy Perry, I think we know all uh, Last Friday Night, for example, um, we've got more than 20 parameters with that song. So, for example, uh, what's the role? Is she a male? No. Is she a group? No. Is she female? Yeah. Uh, intro of the song for stupid DJs, of course, it's about eight seconds. Um, but then the things maybe you won't know. Uh, what kind of mood is that song? We have a scale from one till five that's from suicidal till ecstatic. <laughs> and I think this song, Katy Perry, mm, is a four. It's a happy song. And then you've got energy. It's from one that's acoustic, from five that's, well, a wall of soundtrack. And Katy Perry, mm, I think it's medium, it's a three. Uh, then you've got uh, texture. Texture is more the, the level of a song. It starts pretty normal with a so a three between one to five. It's a three, and it ends with a well with an audience with a bit of applause. So that's a two. Then you've got that's an important thing. The sound code, for example, sound code. Normally we work with uh, a letter. So uh, Katy Perry is a capital P with a small d. A small d. A capital P is pop. A uh, small d is dance and otherwise if it was a bit of a rocky song it has a small air or whatever you can fill in. Uh, then you've got the era of course and you've got all those different parameters and in the end of course that's where uh, the science happens. It's like okay what do you want? You don't want two females in a row. In a row. Uh, you don't want uh, uh, first an ecstatic song and after that a suicidal one because that sounds pretty weird. So that's how you make this up. And why? Because what you want is that everybody listens. Now, here, 2011, the FM is, uh, well, is the thing we listen radio with FM. But uh, we've got the, 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 the scarcity. Yeah? Uh, there's not enough space for those uh, many stations. Uh, but in the future, I think, well, a lot of you don't even have a radio at home. They, you listen uh, via internet or something else. That's the future. So, uh, I, I talked about Katy Perry, Coldplay, that's broadcasting, broadcasting. And the future is going to be narrow casting. Pretty, well, narrow-minded radio. For example, if you uh, get online, you will find a, a, a station playing only bagpipe music from Mongolia. The old day. If you like, it's your station. Or another station that plays Elvis 24 hours a day. But I was very curious what happens when you um, analyze the music taste of a small audience. And that's what I did with you guys. So I, th this is a thing, maybe this is a time to use my machine. 
because I can really proudly present something very unique that has never been done before. And well, it will be the future. And well, you have to feel privileged that you are sitting here right now. Because, yeah, well, <laughs> you have to be. Because uh, um, I made a radio station. I built a radio station custom made just for all you guys. And it's called TEDx Rotterdam Radio. It's, yeah, 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 yeah that, that, this is the drone, yeah, yeah. I have to say, I, I not built this on my own, I'm not a, a technical guy, but uh, uh, with the students of the Hogeschool in Holland and the guys from Newby Radio, they did a great job. And, uh, well, you, you did a great job also, because I ask you to fill in uh, your most, most favorite track of the moment. And I got a lot of funny tracks, tracks I've never heard before. I like Voyage. For example, this one is from Lina, Lina Yosmonti from Tilburg. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Some stony Maloney guy. She's a I like It's Voyage. Great. Or for example this, this is a great track from uh, Wouter Heinemann here from Rotterdam and he asked for, well, a bit of a new classical song, Orsten Adagio Sostenuto. I'm going to skip a bit. That's great, is it? Then you've got this song, it's from uh, Joyce, she's from Breda. I think because her name is George Fong, maybe she's from Japan or something. Because the song is called Toshinobu Kibota. <laughs> Sounds good. And well, the last thing I would like you to hear is just a random order. This is from uh, Sam Kare at Kogan de Zaan. And he asked for Gang the Sango remix of this track called The Weekend. And that goes on and on. Maybe he ate some mushrooms when he fell in and was in the, in, in, in the mood. Um, this, is, this is great, this is great music, but I... Well, even think that the, the, the people I mentioned, they will agree that well, these tracks uh, don't belong on, on, well, what we call now regular radio. Uh, um, it's not really fun to listen to a radio station that goes from uh, classical music to heavy metal. It's, it's well, for, for this day, it's fun. And, and you can listen to uh, this station, TEDx Rotterdam Radio, uh, till midnight. You can, uh, eat. That's, that's a funny thing. You can uh, listen to it uh, by mobile, so it's newb.fm slash mobile, and well, you, you will see it in the, in the hall anyway. So till midnight, there's your own station, a newbie radio, um, um, and, and well, there are some funny things about you guys, because uh, I can see by the music you are highly educated people, because 1,500 requests, and only four songs of that were Dutch language. Yeah. And normally that's bigger, yeah. And a lot of classical music also, a lot of great classical music, I have to say. It's still a small part, but well, hey, it's, it's, it's a part. It, it is, when, I, when, when you uh, are the, the, the main audience, the, the whole target group, well, maybe you can make a, a classical music for a couple of you guys. It's, it's a small pie, but uh, uh, it's a thing. But what happens if you make it um, uh, well, a bit more broadcasting. And then suddenly some big average middle class stays because, uh, well, here you see uh, the most requested artists. I'm sorry to say, but hey, that's the same shit over and over again. Those, those are the big names. If I look at the specific songs, here you see, this is what happened. And then I only cut off about, well, I think 5%, so not the classical music, not the heavy metal songs, but what's left then is, is this. 
Just if you follow the world by demand and supply, you, this is the, the URL, you, you, get, you get, well, the, the same average radio station uh, over and over, that plays the same music over and over again. It's a bit of because of, well, we want to hear familiar things. Um, of course, this is about new leadership. And what I would like to say is, of course, um, you're, well, very quick a leader in a small world. For example, like I mentioned, the, the classical station, you can start a classical station. And I'll think, well, within a few days, few months, whatever, you will be the leader. But it's always, you see, with, with those artists and those songs, it's always better, or I have to say, you're always bigger when you take a small part of the really big middle of the road pie. Because, well, a, 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 a small part of that big pie is much bigger than uh, the whole pie. Well, that's about it. It was a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, I would like to end because I'm a DJ and I've got 30 seconds left um, and I'm normally just a, a guide in music land. So I would like to end with a small tune. It's from Wiet Sahag from Rotterdam. Wiet, thank you very much. I'm going to use this tune in my radio show. I think it's a really nice tune. It's called 8-Bit Smiles of Filter. It's the future of radio. Thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, Giel, with, with radio turning towards narrow casting, yeah. uh, what is it going to mean for people like yourself, DJs? Well, uh, I think the results are good for me because what everybody likes is, well, a lot of you, uh, what a lot of people like is the, the, the mainstream radio. And I also would like to say that I think it's... Um, but, but with narrow casting, you don't need DJs. Every, everybody's going to make his own selection. No, but the thing is, I, I because uh, I want to believe, because it's my job, but I really think, I really think that uh, people want to listen to the same station. Uh, 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 if, you, if you meet somebody, you would like to say, hey, did you hear that this morning? So uh, that's why the big stations will be there forever. And the big station have the opportunity to, to get the guests and to, to have the live music and, and things and like it, that. And it is interesting. Radio is sort of old media too. And while newspapers and other sorts of media are, yeah. are in trouble, radio is still going very strong, right? Yeah, yeah, radio has the future because, well, for example, television, it's like watching and listening at the same time. And that's, that's not from nowadays because what you want to do is uh, uh, well, get online, uh, surf a bit on the internet, and well, at the background, you need some music, and you need somebody who advise you in what is new music. And that's where I come up, in the radio. Radio is the future. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Gil Thank you.